You need a permit to shoot off fireworks. These are just poppers. I don't care. Give them to me. I'm going to have to confiscate them. No, I don't think so. Yeah. Okay, and that is one of the best ways to summarize today's video. Today's video, we are going in depth. The worst side of TikTok you could like ever be on imaginably. We're going on Karen talk, y'all. We are gonna go down below and discover why Karens do what they do. We're gonna update ourselves on what a Karen looks like in July 2024. So before we even dive any deeper into this, hit the subscribe button because why not? Like the video, comment down below your take on these Karens. Program that the city base, it is not illegal to yell here. Excuse me, ma'am. You are help when you are visiting the city. Would you please ask your family to correct that you have been fired and sued? I don't even know what this woman is talking about. And I don't know if it's because I can't audibly hear, but I feel like I can audibly hear. And like the first comment on this really confirms how I feel. She's speaking so loud, but I'm not hearing anything come out of her mouth to the point where even the workers are not taking her serious. I just got to say this. If this is your auntie, mom grandmother whatever she is to you i'm sorry for your embarrassment i'm sorry if anybody could identify that you are related to this woman i'm sorry for the immediate embarrassment you felt during this tiktok furthermore i just want to say this as well these workers got more patience than me and i'm trying not to repeat myself too much because i feel like the big thing when it comes to karen's is having patience and that's the, really the only way to get rid of them or cure the you know the karen not the pee you might get when you're encountering one several times i will not leave your bullshit store you have been asked very loudly about your family's contracts. You do not live off this salary. Good guy, with the understanding, I ask quietly and it is not illegal to be loud. Get the fuck out, lady. It's the mental breakdown for me. <laughs> hey, you know, what's the point of doing all that shit if you're just going to leave? I don't know if you just want attention or what's going on in your personal life. That is like more than unnecessary. Like, dog, just bounce. I don't understand why people feel the need to make these huge ass things in public. Nine times out of ten, you look like an idiot. And the one, the one out of ten time where you are right, nothing comes out of it. Whether you are right or wrong in that scenario, getting loud isn't worth it. Getting that upset is not worth it. But I guess this is what makes Karens Karens, right? You're not supposed to take them serious. You're supposed to just laugh at them. So. Are you kidding me? Get off the trail! There are so many families on this trail. You are not supposed to be out here with motors. Get off the trail. Get a motor. Get off the trail. Hey, no. No, get no, off the trail. This is a bicycle. Get off the trail. I'm not gonna lie. I see rule breakers every day. I'm sure we all do. We're not going out of our way to scream to the top of our lungs at them, are we? Am I just the only one that's just going by acting like I don't care? Like even in the little scenarios where I do care, where it's even slightly inconveniencing me. Dog, it's not worth screaming to the top of your lungs. Like, shit like this, it's it's good that these things are recorded. Because nine times out of ten, I'm going to say this as well. When you encounter a Karen, most people aren't going to believe you. You need to have video proof. Because, you know, even me, I sometimes fail to really understand how these type of people exist. You have a whole ass baby on the back of your bike and you're worrying about what someone else is doing. You know, maybe it's just the parent in me. But, you know, the idea of taking your eyes off that kid for even two seconds scared me more than anything that someone could be possibly doing on a motorbike on a biking trail. I am never eating here again! Take that smirk off your face! I want to speak to your manager! Okay, all right. Don't touch me either! I, right I don't here. like the talk way right I'm being treated here! That woman just wanted a couple seconds of fame. That's all that was. That woman just wanted to feel some type... You know that shit where people... You know what they used to say about bullies that they're really hurt deep inside and all that other stuff. You know, me personally, I never believed it. But this right here is giving, I need to take the power back. I want to make a scene. I want to be the main character. And yeah, I guess she was for literally about eight seconds, but was it worth it? You didn't even get anything out of it. You just talked a whole lot of crap while you yourself, this man didn't even touch you. You yourself went towards the door and literally escorted yourself out. It's like, come on now. I don't know what's going on with these millennials. But something has to be said or done. This is getting a little, just a little bit ridiculous. Just a little bit. Hey, hey, hey. Yes. hey. I'm what? Gonna, I'll call you back. Hey, I have seen you around this neighborhood too many times. This is ridiculous. Your, your car is insanely loud. No, 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 <laughs> no. This, there are children that live in this neighborhood. You need to drive somewhere. You know what? I'm calling the police. That's not even relevant, though. 
And this right here is what I mean, because it's like Karens like literally go out of their way to not just make a scene, but inconvenience people. And that's why they get the negative rap that they do. I think we all got a little bit of Karen in us. You know, I think most of us just don't allow it to show because, again, at the end of the day, it's no point. At that point, you're just going out of your way to in inconvenience yourself while trying to complain to somebody else about said inconveniences. It's not really a point. You stopped this man while he was driving to let him know his car was loud. He's driving a Lamborghini. You brought up the kids. I don't think the kids care about the noise for one. And for two, if anything, kids love the car because he's driving a Lambo. You're not just giving off hater vibes. But like, this is like top tier. Like, you know, I've been thinking about making a Karen tier list. This is my first ever Karen video. So if I'm ecstatic or like unusually optimistic, despite Loki being annoyed by these characters, that's why. But I'm gonna say this again. You're just going out of your way to bother people and I'm not understanding why. Please, this is insane. Don't you even think about going anywhere. I'm calling right now. This is insane. You cannot just be driving this loud And like, why wouldn't he just drive off if you're calling the cops? And like, furthermore, what would the cops even say? They might not even write the ticket because he's not even getting caught in the action. You know, you're just stopping him trying to trying to make a complaint to the police about it. he's not gonna nothing's gonna happen so at this point even hypothetically he did sit there and wait till the cops came again you just inconvenienced yourself him and you wasted both of your time far in this neighborhood at all hours i'm calling right now don't you even think about going anywhere this, this, no, no, this is ridiculous I would have did the same thing. I wouldn't even pay her any attention. I ain't gonna lie, it's really giving a vibe that she's mad she doesn't have a car. She's just hating on the fact that this man has a Lambo. But we're not gonna dive too deep into it because, you know, I try not to make assumptions on this channel. First time. Let's get a video I'm gonna take a picture of you too. Dude, we gotta, I'm my first Karen. Picture of you too. Literally walked into my house. All right, this is crazy work. And I'm sorry if I'm if I'm pausing a little too much for your liking. It's a Karen video, y'all. It's not much to really deep dive into, but I'm pausing more because it's more to like on the surface react to. The idea of somebody walking into your house is crazy, regardless of if you're a Karen, if you're part of the HOA, if you're part of anything, it's crazy. It's, a, it's like blatant trespassing. And you know, I'm gonna just say this too. I don't ever bring the race card or gender card into it, but if this was a man instead of a woman, we'd have be having a deeper conversation. If this was a black person trespassing into a white person's house, we'd be having a deeper conversation, but I'm not here to dive that deep into it. I'm just saying, I'm just letting it be known abundantly that it'd be different. But furthermore, there is never a reason to walk into somebody's house that you don't know. Furthermore, there's never a reason to walk into anybody's house, even if you do know them. I ain't gonna lie, if my family walked into my house like that, I ain't gonna lie, they getting out. I'm not gonna lie, if my neighbor did some stuff like that, I might pull up, I might get it, I might pull out the glick. I might pull out the glick and start pointing shit just to let it be known that we're not going to make a habit out of this. I'm walking to your house. It's amazing. I know, it is amazing. <laughs> and we're going to report you. I'm not going to report this to the, like, to the owner okay, because free. this is too much. You guys do this all the time. Feel free. So if you don't want people to come in, don't write entrance. Why do you hate music so much? Floor. Don't write entrance on your house if you don't want people to come in. Okay. You can find almost every door with an entrance sign or like a doormat that says welcome home or entrance. A, it doesn't mean walk in, and B, I don't know, I'm, again, I don't have the context in this video, and you rarely do when it comes to carrying videos, which is why I try my best to be as objective as possible, but I'm kind of, I, I kind of don't understand how, like, you had to walk in and do all that shit to tell the owner that these people was loud or whatever they was doing. You didn't, and you decided to walk inside of their house. I don't know how these people remain so calm in this. I don't know if they have children. I don't know if I saw children in the beginning. I might go back. I might not. But I got kids. So again, I'm going to make it abundantly clear that we're not going to make a habit out of this. Because you guys have been doing this all the time. Hey, you know, you could have just knocked on the door, rang the doorbell. We would have turned it off. Oh, no, 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 no. We did. We did. You guys didn't hear it. And that was the direction you chose to take this. Thank well, you. It have is a great night. You chose to take it. What's your name? Which house is yours, Miss Trespasser? Like I said, you, he doesn't even know your name. I don't know where they live. I don't know where this is. I don't know who any of these people are, but I'm going to say this again. If you would have did that to the right person, you would have been leaving in either a body bag or in handcuffs, one or the other. Nobody's letting you walk up into their shit like that and you leaving out unharmed nine times out of ten. This is one of them situations where this Karen got kind of lucky. I'm going to just leave it at that. Going. Well, maybe I'll push all the buttons like a kid. Why would you do that? I don't know. I like to play in elevators. This is strange. I ain't gonna lie. This right here is where I end the video because I don't have patience. This right here is where I would have went to jail for either a battery or, you know, some form of hopefully a misdemeanor.
violence, but I would have went to jail violence. You know, the idea of you wanting to inconvenience somebody just to inconvenience somebody is enough for me to like legitimately go off on you. Like, I will lose my shit IRL or even on the camera, wherever we are. If somebody's going out of the way to inconvenience me, especially when it has to do with my time, or you're just doing it just to do it. Like, that got to be some of the most petty, insufferable, intolerable shit I, I could go through. It just can't be. Like, you're, I, know, I understand you're suffering in your personal life, but come on now. You're, you're kind of forcing me to either go to jail by putting hands on you or me continue to waste my time by dealing with you, and I'd rather do neither. But that's it with this video. If you enjoyed the Karen's video, if this get enough likes, I ain't gonna set a like go. If y'all like, enjoyed the video and you want another one, or you want a tier list to the Karen's, let me know. I can make this a, a much longer video, but I don't know, make a 20 video, 20 minute long video of me talking about Karen's just for y'all to not like it. And then blah, 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 blah. I appreciate the fact that y'all made it to the end. I love you guys just as much as I love myself. Make sure you hit that subscribe button for me, because why not? And I'm out.